<laughs> I was about to say Vlogtober. Vlogmas day five. Hello. We are already off to a good start. We have this little bunny rabbit is already in the car. Assuming normal positions. Yes. Oh no. Don't you climb up on there. No, you won't be allowed to play in the car if you climb up on there. Okay? That's dangerous. Good boy. Just <laughs> laying on the seats. You want to go in your car? Okay. Yeah. Oh. I need someone. I need someone special. I need someone special. <laughs> Oh, what is this outfit? Are you now in this car? So many cars. Good morning, Jules. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. How are you today? Um, Where are you going? So, oh, 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 okay. No, no, wait. So, so is that a no? That's an absolute no. Oh, okay. Darling, I've got two... At the hospital, quarter to three. Quarter to three. I think there could be no worse place for Massey but roads. Oh, why oh, not? In his stroller. No, or you're gonna let him go like running like in Ikea. Ikea? Yeah. You must be joking. Yeah, <laughs> it only goes one way. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to follow. <laughs> and you've got to follow the direction. <laughs> I don't think so. Don't you want to go to Ikea today? No. I thought he could play with the toys and stuff. What toys? You know, there's like Ikea toys and everything. Um, excuse me. Uh, child. Hey, stop. What else is new? You may take him in this fabulous outfit if I'm you not like. I'm taking him in this outfit. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Is that a more acceptable outfit for you? Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. He's a good boy, he's a boy. Could you take him down for me? Yeah. So I can just eat my piece of toast in there. Mummy's coming down to the Where top. Where's the other fish one? You must have it. Dinner. Come in. Are you going to have a play date? Having a play date with Nana and your other friends? What happened to that um, Newport play date? Oh, oh you hated it? <laughs> oh, I remember the story. I know. Okay, so was that Newport and the other one you wanted to go to? I want to go Just to want to make it clear. You don't always have to have your kids going to play dates and play groups and this and that. It's nice to just have a few friends. Look at mummy's chairs that are still here two months later. Where's your dad? I'm gonna get angry at him. <laughs> okay. In the July. Oh, August, yeah. September, October, November, December. That's six months. Mum comes home from... Oh, hang on, Danny. Ow! Mum comes home from seeing, I don't know, a business, like a company, and I said, how was it? And she said, shocking. I said, okay. She said, I've started a new business. 
<laughs> I said, what is it? She said, critiquing. <laughs> As if like, never been done before. I said, Jules, you have always had the business of critiquing. I know I've always had the... Sorry, I had to finish my toast. I know I've always had the business of critiquing, but I've never made it a business. Oh. And I'm going to make it a business. I think it is vital. I try. Can I just tell you one thing? I don't know if those people want your opinion. <laughs> well, guess That's what? like me and my channel. I don't necessarily want the opinion. I think if you're paying for a service, it's completely different. Correct. Correct. And I think that the, particularly the place that I just did the last critiquing and took eight photographs. You took photographs? And will write to their manager. I am writing a letter. Dear Mr. Where did Hamptons. Where the phone? Back. Guest. <gasps> guest. Um, Mommy can't suite. walk around. Air vent in the toilet. There. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, door? Mum, you can't walk around. That's like walking Bin? around the restaurants Bin? and taking photos of the restaurants. Imagine if somebody did that of the whole restaurants. Well, they should. Well, oh. <laughs> okay, it's not a critiquing business. You can become a secret shopper. That's not secret shopping. That's that's going into someone's business and saying, Your shit. You're paying, no, you're <laughs> paying a price for something and you expect to achieve this price and. You're giving this sort of service, and behind the scenes, this is what's happening. Yeah. It's not even behind the scenes. I agree. It's the public's meant to be using that. Yeah, all right. I'm going to walk out while you're still going, okay? Good. <laughs> Great new business venture, Jill. Definitely. Watch my channel. <laughs> well, then, what is your critique on my blue chairs in my driveway? Disgraceful. <laughs> like the weeds at the front. I mean... They're gone, though. They're not gone. Bags. Okay, bye, critique. That's all I need. And, and oh god, she's still going. She's still going. Oh yeah, what happened? Yeah, the quarrying's burnt out. It's on its way out. Oh, that sucks. Uh, I have a confession to make. What a confession? Yes. Go. When I told you that that big packet of money wasn't in the office it's because yes. i stole it <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay it wasn't that much how much was it 4500 as if there would be 4500 and i wouldn't know about it the envelope says 4500 yeah but how much is in there I don't know. Why do you write a figure that's not what's in the envelope? It was there, but maybe I've taken a little bit out of it. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Sucked in. Anywho, that's all. Thanks. Give me back my money. No. Bye. I want my money back. No. Okay, bye. bye. Where are you going? See, you can't to, leave me. To the shops with your money. Bye. I need my money back. No way. I'm putting it on my credit card. What the fuck? <laughs> That's Still different to me stealing your cash. Still doesn't matter. Doesn't hurt. Like, you would have to pay for it. That will hurt your soul. I would just steal more cash from you to fix it. I will burn one of the handbags. Okay, see, that's just messed up. <laughs> Bye. I want to show you this. Isn't this so cute? Oh, my God. It's just a little bottle sample of Boy. Uh, when it first came out, it wasn't even released. And Michael sent me. Isn't that the most darling thing you've ever seen? Just while I'm down here, I do want to do a feature for you. It was a question, so I do want to go ahead and answer it. My subby Iram asked me about this guy. 
and the specific question was about corners okay so the question was about the corners and how are they wearing was a little concerned the question was being concerned about the corners of the GM it's interesting because even though you don't think they would differ very much I'm gonna say there probably is the same kind of corner wear but these are two very different cases the larger the the dome shape gets the more buckling you're going to get on the zipper so you really can't overstuff it I'm going to say the corners of this Damier bin have worn so I'm not going to say it's broken through or could look at, like it's going to break through sorry I'll hang on a sec but you can just see there that already the canvas has discolored it's wearing off from the more caramel brown and that's the same on every corner um, it hasn't broken through I can't see any threads or anything from the canvas fibers uh, but yeah and I'm just gonna say I putting that down to size because it is bigger you bang it you scuff it and um, I use my cases in when I did my or my pouch collection that I have I these is my most used items hi guys okay the boys are just resting we have kind of had a domestic issue at Jill's apartment all the doors make these like ridiculous clicking noises and from day one Quincy has hated it and Pomeranians bark anyway just to say he barks a lot a lot a lot enough that if you lived in that block I'm pretty sure you would be pissed and I always say to Jillian, if you lived in this block and a, a dog barked like that, you would go mad. And she's like, I know, I wouldn't be able to stand it. And I was like, okay, so how do you just let him bark like that? She's like, what do you want me to do, Jerusha? And I was like, give him back to me. Like, I'll take him back. We're in this house. I'll just work out how to sort of pen him in a bit better so he doesn't run away in the bush and get ticks and die. Um, she's like, no, I can't take him away from my father. Like, dad really loves him now and he's such a little companion. And so we just kind of left it. But today, one of the neighbors wrote mum a letter. Am I writing a letter? I've said that twice this vlog. White Chicks, funniest movie ever. And anyway, so she was really angry and I just said, I knew this day would come. So said what do you want me to do about it I said pick up the phone call me and say Jush I have to give the dog back she goes Jush I have to give the dog back so I go to Massey Quincy's coming to live at our house Massey just did the most excited dance you've ever seen yeah, good evening mate it's very hard to get a hold of you're right you reckon? Seven missed calls, really? Mate, like my media team is very poor. <laughs> I'm trying to change my media team. Will goes, change your media team. I'm like, well, <laughs> my media team doesn't have any response. <laughs> I don't think I should. <laughs> and I think I should get a pay cut straight away. Oh my God. Do I get a pay cut? Of course you do. Sweet. What, oh. what, what do I get? So I mean, you can talk the same. Shut up. That's amazing. At least, at least in the family. Yeah, true. There you go. Listen. What? Don't, don't, don't drop your balls. Everything is under control. I have spoken to Sam. It is exactly how it was designed. And the only reason... <laughs> Very interesting. What is that? Well, it's um, a curry that I made. <laughs> um, kind of made it up myself. <laughs> that is um, lamb korma, and I was scared it was going to be horrible, so I <laughs> devised another curry just as horrible <laughs> in case. <laughs> But as your mother said, you've got to eat 
what your wife makes for you, you have to eat, right? Isn't that what she said? Anyway, and this is the white rice, the chalal, and the two curries, and a nice salad for my boys. What did you get there? <laughs> what did you find in the salad? Are you smashing a piece of lemon? Did you give him that? He goes, at least you got the rice right. That's perfect rice. Nice. And great korma. Sure? We'll soon find out. <laughs> I made you that one in case that one shocking. Hey, Mr. Lemon. And how are you doing over there? Are you having a bit of grandpa withdrawals? I think so. Taste test. No, well, this one's having a taste test. Can you do it out of camera? Oh. You can do take two. Very nice, close. Close to my mother-in-law? Yeah. Ho ho! Snap! Another boy to go in the pantry. Yay! Okay guys, I'm going to end my vlog here. I will see you tomorrow. Bye!